Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. Today is Friday, May 10th, 2024. I'm Ryan Chandler. And I'm Chase Hamilton. Today is an A-Day. This week we're featuring a segment on the baseball, a segment on 7th grade circle justice, and a segment on book reading at center. Last week, we announced the April Students of the Month. We just wanted to show you this picture of Maddie, Alta, Mark, Mo, Avery, Morgana, Ari, and David. They were nominated by their teachers because they made a positive impact in our school community by consistently following the Academy way. Today, there will be two spring fling dances. The 6th grade dance will be from 4 to 5.30. The 7th and 8th grade dance will be from 6.30 to 8.30. The dress for the dances will be spring casual. Tickets are $5 per person and will be sold during lunches. Just a reminder that the dance should be a fun celebration, not a time to pressure people to dance with each other. You must have space between you when dancing. In preparation for the Memorial Day Assembly, Seven Academy would like to invite all students, family, and faculty to remember a family member or friend who died in service to their country. Any student, family, or faculty can submit a name, rank, branch, branch of service, and a photo of the service member if they have one. Please submit your entry to Ms. Dumont, kdumont at seu90.org by May 17th. Lunch today will be Chef Boyardee, ravioli, school baked roll, garden sound, pineapple tibbets, and milk. Mmm, mmm, that lunch sounds yummy, yummy. Recently, eighth grade students from Mr. Doherty's Shark Walk went to center school and read aloud the book, The Jelly Donut Difference. The visit was enjoyed by all. Take a look at the pictures from the day. Baseball season is underway. Jack had a chance to speak with some of the players, and we have some pictures of videos of the team. Take a look. Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. I'm here with Nick and Nathan, who are members of our baseball team here at Hampton Academy. Nick, what's our baseball team's record this year? We are at a staggering 0-3. And Nathan, why are we at that record? Errors. And how can we improve those errors? Um, help each other out and make less errors. <laughs> and Nick, what's your favorite part about playing on the team this year? Um, probably being able to play like, with all my friends and just have a good time playing baseball. And lastly, what are some strengths that our team still has? Um, we have really good plate vision, so we allow ourselves to take a lot of walks, which can put score scoring runners in position to come back in the game. Nick hit swamp donkeys. <laughs> Thank you for being on Shark News. <laughs> Ms. Dory, an 8th grade ELA teacher, recently sent us some poetry readings from 8th grade students. We'll be having a, po a, a Poetry of the Week segment each week. Here's our first Poetry of the Week. The first is Bring Wind, recited by Vanessa Cronin, and the second poem is to Rissach, recited by Jadiel Boroa. Spring Wind by Christine O'Connell George 
smelling of lavender, softly fluttering the curtains. She looked inside, then floated in for tea and scones. She sat in the wing chair, long elegant fingers tracing linen lilacs. After tea, she whispered her thanks, lifted her silk skirts, and rustled away. Two sides by Sam Allen. Sometimes I feel like I will never stop, just go on forever to one fine morning. I'm gonna reach up and grab me a handful of stars swinging out of my long lean leg and whip three hot strikes burning down the heavens and look over at God and said, how about that? Seventh grade students recently read Touching Spirit Bear. Based on the idea of circle justice presented in the book, students were assigned a skit project to show how Hampton Academy might look different using the system of circle justice. Each group had to write and role play a meeting of circle justice. In each group, each person is identified as either victim, offender, facilitator, or a community member. Jackson had the opportunity to speak with students about their project, and we have a portion of one of the skits. Take a look. Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. I'm here with three seventh grade students who recently did a project in ELA. Jack, can you tell me what that was like? Uh, well, we basically wrote us or er, read a book about circle justice, and then we um made a script and then presented it. Cool. And Alexa, what was your favorite part about this? My favorite part was presenting with all of my group members and it was really fun and lexi how did you prepare for your presentation um the way we prepared is that we like went over the script a lot and we um made sure like everyone knew like what their parts was and how to like really um do it cool thank you for being on shark news we have all gathered here today to circle justice to bring justice and peace and respectfulness for those who don't know what circle justice is it is a form of restorative justice. The main focus today is for the offender to take the responsibility for their action and understand what they have done. Hi, my name is Ms. Hunchback. I'm a seventh grade teacher. A week ago, I dress, co dress coded Zoe because she was being disrespectful and distracting the boys in class. Then she rudely talked back to me. Hi, I'm Zoe Hughes, you can call me Zoe though. Now I've just coded unfairly and felt disrespected by Ms. Hunchback. With Circle Justice, you get to share your feelings and your side of, and, and your side of the story. I think today we were able to put ourselves in everybody's shoes. The 8th grade trip to Washington, D.C. is next week. We have a video about the Korean War monument in which the 8th grade if the 8th graders will visit in D.C. It was created by Drake Grinelli and Jack Hafey. Take a look.
walking through the halls with Jameson and Jackson. Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks, and welcome back to this week's episode of Walking Through the Halls with Jameson and Jackson. This week, we are covering how to act during emergencies and emergency drills. Boop! Hampton Academy, at this time, we are going into a lockdown drill. This is just a drill. When you hear the lockdown announcement, your teacher will close and lock the door. You will then barricade the doors using desks, chairs, and other furniture. After that, you will go to the designated safe areas in the classroom and remain quiet. If you are walking in the hallway and a lockdown is called, quickly get into the nearest classroom. If somebody comes and knocks on your door, do not open it, even if you know who they are. During a fire alarm or drill, follow your teacher quickly, calmly, and quietly outside. Once outside, remain quiet so that you can listen to the instructions from your teachers. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Walking Through the Halls with Jameson and Jackson. We hope you use this information wisely, and we hope to see you back here next week. Celebrating his birthday today is Nick Green. Celebrating tomorrow is London Thomas. Happy birthday, Nick and London. And now for the weather. Today, there will be considerable cloudiness. The high temperature will be 52 degrees. Saturday, there will be a mix of sunshine and clouds. The high temperature will be 52 degrees. And on Sunday, it'll be cloudy with a light chance of a rain shower. The high temperature will be 55 degrees. This week, we have no weather photos. Remember, you can send your weather photos in to sharknews at sau90.org. Today, we celebrate Fantastic Friday. Giving Sharks a Voice, which was created by the Whale Times, along with research from the Stark Research Institute. The day celebrates and raises awareness for sharks. It encourages young people to get involved in shark conversation, com conservation efforts and to help change public opinion about sharks. From fear to appreciation and from hate to love. How can you celebrate? Draw a picture of your favorite shark, be it a tiger, hammerhead, whale, or black tip shark. Fact question is about sharks. Which is the largest shark on earth? A. Tiger shark. B. Blue shark. C. Whale shark. D. Great white shark. Our thought for today is from American marine biologist Sylvia Earle. Sharks are beautiful animals, and if you're lucky enough to see lots of them, that means that you're in a healthy ocean. You should be afraid if you are in the ocean and you don't see a lot of sharks. Sylvia Earle. Hey Jackson. Hey what? How did the hammerhead shark do on his test? I don't know, how'd he do? He nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Our answer to the fact of the day is this. C, whale sharks are not only the biggest sharks in the world, but are the biggest fish of any kind. Though there are some reports of larger individuals, the biggest specimen ever reliably measured was nearly 62 feet long. That's bigger than a school bus. Remember before you speak? Text, chat, or post. Ask yourself, is it kind? Is it true? And is it necessary? And remember the Academy way. Manage yourself. Act responsibly. And respect yourself and others. Go, Go out there and make it a great day. day.